everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this some kind of punishment? I often wonder if we'll get to meet the god who blessed us with such a fate and punch him straight in the dick. Greetings, travelers. You can call me Misshapen Chair. In this video essay, I'm finally expanding my brand beyond the usual content of Haibane Renmei reviews to MFSQ type videos. Permission to use the fire button granted. I might be awful at shmups. There is no but. Other than 2B's ass, we've gone through all these years of technological innovations and increased polygon counts so we can go from Mario 64 to 2 B's thighs. I love religion. It was imperative that all the androids are dummy thick. According to Yoko Taro, it's because he likes hot women. Respect. No bullshit excuses like she can breathe through her skin. Just sex appeal for the sake of sex appeal. Incredible that 2B is programmed to do all of this in heels. I believe I have located our target and I have also manifested Nippon Steel. Oh really? Well joke's on you, game. I've beaten God Hand, and I know how to dodge and hit because it was invented by Dark Souls. If only there was a video game where I could play as a cat girl samurai in 2B's outfit. Unfortunate that I've never made a video about it. While taking out the trash, we're going to have to find the actual target of our assassination mission where we didn't lose any comrades. Remember, if you don't report the numbers, it doesn't count. Although it is a bit lonely talking to a pod and not another android. Greetings. I've been assigned to you. My name is 9S. Shut up, nerd. Whatever you say, ma'am. And don't call me that. It's one less syllable to refer to me as 2B. That's just not true. Okay, nerd. And don't do that first name embarrassment anime trope thing. 9S proceeds to do that thing and tells us that this factory used to make weapons when it was run by humans. Ah, yes, those weird humans and their pesky habit of blowing each other up. I can laugh too since I am a piece of furniture. Intermission over, back to fighting, but from the top-down perspective. This is really making me have a great appreciation for NES Zelda. Incredible that I've managed to take zero damage so far in my playthrough. Despite surveying the plant so far, there doesn't appear to be anything resembling our target, except for these strange flying winged creatures. You mean birds? Thanks, nerd. There is an endless hallway that is bringing up childhood memories of watching poultry guys. It's the perfect place for a boss fight. How could I forget one giant buzz saw was a mini boss, but two is a real boss. That's why they run away when they hit half HP, so that it's still just a mini boss. Running, running, running. That's big enough to be our target. I hate the oil and gas industry, so I'll destroy this even if it's not our mission anyway. The audio cue for his big slam attack is a scam. I feel cheated and lied to. That's why I'm fine with Nina's hacking the missiles and just beating it in the cutscene. Sasanai! That was pretty cool, 9S. Now we can safely get up there because it would be really stupid if this big robot came back to life again. Better make sure to be very quiet. Wouldn't want to disturb the giant and alert them to our presence. Don't worry, 9S, it's just a flesh wound. Wait. Synthetic flesh wound. You'll be fine after we patch you up. Medical aid impossible. Shut the fuck up. 2B. <clears throat> 2B. Go on without me. Transfer of rights for flight suit identified. Please authorize this transaction. I will avenge you, 9S. Wait, I'm not actually dead. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, 9S. I might be small, but I still have Nippon Steel. Yes, I am well aware that I can hack his arm off and beat him to death with it. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, 
I really gotta hand it to you, 9S. You're not half bad. Better call the extraction team. I don't think that's gonna be necessary. I'm not gonna make it to be. We're not gonna make it. No, 9S. Save your breath, or whatever it is that we androids need. I don't actually know. We could take them all out still. But first, I know I just met you and this is crazy. But will you be my waifu? Emotions are prohibited, you know. But I guess if it's the end, it's okay as long as we're together. Oh no, people are gonna find out that I have other save data from a previous playthrough. I just cut that part out of the video? Good. Hey 9S, about what you said before we both exploded. I said something? I only remember meeting up with you. Did I say something important? Yeah, Betsuni. I know this is sudden given that we just had a massive adrenaline rush, but allow me to explain the lore. You see, in the year 5012, the world was invaded by aliens who attacked humans with machines. The humans fled to the moon in order to survive. It's currently year 5204, and the humans have deployed the Yorha forces to end the stalemate. You are our last hope. Jin Yuni Ekuaru. Yeah, yeah, Jin Yuni Ekuaru. Time to reboot. Gotta make sure I have my settings to maximum. Full anti aliasing, 4K resolution, highest quality, max shadow settings. I think my GPU is starting to feel some strain while recording this. I can't really hear you right now, 9S, but I'll select the somewhat flirty option because this is going to be important later. Let me make sure the self destruct feature works. <laughs> Blah blah blah, we catch up on that whole first name basis thing. Now we can get our mission from the commander, who is also incredibly hot. I just wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page. Our mission is to go back to where we just were, but more inland and in a city to help the resistance leader. Thank god we have some flight suits to spare that are not infinitely reproducible like the android bodies. Well, that was quick. Allow me to wave dash to our destination and strike up a friendly conversation with the local wildlife. Wait a minute, I know you. You're Yoko Taro. No, I'm not. I'm a strange female citizen. Oh, okay. That explains why you give me all the in-game tutorials. Of course, I need to do random chores in order to progress. Yeah, I'm pretty used to that. I will convince the locals to share their resources with me. This dude talks about how he has replaced all other parts of his body except his left leg, so he keeps it around because once that's gone, will he really be himself anymore? I see that you've never heard of the ship of Theseus. Well, I for one think that you are you until you replace your liver. Yeah, sorry travelers, I discriminate based on liver transplants. That's why I'm going to have to leave to go to the desert, where the team of jackass is blowing up a wall so that we can engage in diplomatic negotiations with the local machines. We also made sure to install that sand dune surfing program for more effective transversal. 9S is kindly reminding me that the machine's cry for their mother is merely a random string of sounds and should be ignored. Just like how the single robot screaming for their life and trying to warn the others is of no sign of sentience. It manages to escape into the communist apartment block. Man, they are resilient and are accusing me of acts of unprovoked violence. But they seem to forget that their existence as not freedom-loving suburbanites is more than enough reason. Like stereotypically toxic masculine manly men, machines do not have feelings. They also collect the corpses of androids, which I am assured is because they are evil. We continue to hunt down the machine equivalent of Paul Revere, who leads us to the breeding grounds of the machines. I mean that literally. Is this what the kids call lemon levels of spice? I've seen much better hentai than this. But I will not have these disgusting atrocities on display in my wholesome Christian game. That's why I will display acts of violence instead. Unfortunately for us, they can fuck faster than we can kill. Meaning that Satan is about to win. Only an act of divine intervention can save us now. Ah. I see how Square Enix was involved in making this game. I also see that you have no cock, but I do have ways to give you holes. This part of the video is getting very horny very fast, like how the H scenes in Nekopara blindside you out of nowhere. But it's not Nekopara if it's not equal parts horny and wholesome. 
Thankfully, my over 300 hours of Sekiro have rewarded me with perfect parry timings, and my zero hours of shooting games punishes me with Stormtrooper accuracy. The only way to finish this dude off is by double penetrating him with both of our swords at the same time. That's a lot of ketchup on screen right now. Machine life sure is strange. I don't even know why we're surprised. Cells undergo mitosis every single day. I know how this one goes. We found two very android looking robots. Interesting. On the way back to the resistance camp, I get rejected by this platform like a woman I am interested in who found my Dakimakura collection. We now have access to the local Airbnb because all the housing was bought up before the war, and can now perform side quests. 2B, 9S, we have a message from the commander. Some androids went missing, but they aren't dead yet. Find them. Okay. Don't you think that fortune telling is interesting? How's the weather there? Irrelevant to objectives, closing transmission. I take a nice relaxing stroll through the tutorial area to recover my previous dead body that I could have sworn was destroyed in a giant black hole and explosion, but more importantly to also recover Big Katana. I believe this action speaks for itself. I also take this time to grind up some resources to upgrade my weapon. My reluctance to go on hunting trips with my father really shows. The route to get to the androids is blocked off, so we go into the sewers, the perfect place for a friendly conversation. Hey, 2B, we're supposed to be modeled after extremely hot humans, so why did the robot androids look like us? Dot, dot, dot. This will not be important later. We finally made it to backwards Disneyland. That explains why we haven't heard from the androids. They've just been waiting in line for the last forever. What if you could make a virtual queue instead? This place seems pretty calm, all things considered. Even the kids are happy. You should probably kill that tank. But they're just shooting confetti. I heard they said vanilla isn't cute. We take a roller coaster ride because humans used to do this for entertainment. It's the perfect expressway to the location of the distress signal. Why does this song go so fucking hard? Holy shit, they've recruited the androids into their MLM. And this is what the game tells me hacking looks like now. I totally didn't die in this fight because I got greedy with uptime. Something's never changed. Hacking completed. You know, to be that machine sure said some crazy stuff. Machines are not real. I have never seen one. I don't see why not. Wow, this really is a village right next to the amusement park that I didn't notice before. It would be a shame if I murdered all of them in cold blood. It would be a virtue if I trusted them all in warm blood. In fact, they give us an advanced filter to hand back to the resistance camp. Timmy, it's horrible. The operator I asked I would turn me down. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't think I'm the right person to talk to about this. <laughs> Look. I need you functional, or else I won't be able to get things done. Are you saying you need me? If I say yes, will it make you feel better? Okay, I'll do my best. Who do they have working at that place? We confirm that the resistant camp and Pascal's village are working together in a mutually beneficial arrangement. I'm sure home base won't have anything to say about this. Now, oh, thank God it's nobody important. I will casually return to the village and ignore all the side quests like giving money to this one random dude. Will I cover the side quests in this video series? Lock in your answer in the comments down below. Analytics show that everyone in the universe is subscribed to me and we obtained world peace through cat girls. I love this part of being a YouTube. Hey YouTube, how am I doing? Your life literally- Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm going back to the bunker where things make sense. The commander wants us to repair something, who I will help purely because she is very attractive and I extremely shallow. I also agree to help find Unit 11B who died in the initial assault on the factory. She's really concerned for her well-being and looked up to her as a mentor. 
It's crazy that I already had all the materials for the first quest. The commander really is such a hard ass. Actually, she's quite lax and leaves her clothes everywhere. How would you even know that? It's a secret. Right. I just gotta do another run of the factory for old time's sake. This body appears to be 11 bees. Her last message is one of pain, misery, and deciding to defect. Although we can't exactly punish a corpse. At least we can give the weapon back to that one person who wanted some info. On the trip back, I'm going to take a small detour and get this music box that I did not provide any context for. I can't believe it was next to another corpse. I get the feeling this game is made by Yoko Taro. I'm also going to look at this view for no particular reason. Here's the music box back. Sorry for your loss. Oh. This is a nice song. I can play it for a bit while I obtain my rewards and find some coordinates engraved on a pole. So back to the bunker. I regret to inform you that 11B died. Here is her sword. Aw, that's sad. But at least she fought valiantly to the very end. Actually, she was planning to abandon everything in her last moments. <laughs> Serves her right, that bitch. Always such a and harassed me every goddamn day. Glad she's finally dead. Now I can finally have a clear mind for the rest of my days. That's the happy ending I was waiting for. On the way back to the desert, Jackass has an argument and wants us to get some combat data by fighting a level 20 enemy that I beat in one try. Same with the follow-up of fighting three enemies without getting hit. I do not have enough DPS for the speed run. that is my excuse. I will finish this up later. For now, I'm going to go to those coordinates that I found and slowly burn my way through this level 35 enemy that is accusing me of killing their friends. I would never do such a thing. It took about 5 minutes of slashing, thanks for asking, and I didn't get any XP for killing them either. I am experiencing negative emotions. At least we found the corpse that was killed by a robot in a revenge quest. On the way back to report the truth, no matter how painful it is, I get distracted by fighting a level 20 robot who looks like a karate master. I agree to help Master Servo because I am partial to shonen training arcs, and I am confident this will be cool when I come back later. Your friend died trying to get revenge. No. Those damn machines. I'll kill them all. Well, we already killed the one that killed your friend. There's nothing left to get revenge on. But without my love or revenge, I have nothing left. Nothing left to live for. Understood. We'll check back in later for what I assume is going to be a very happy ending, especially with the soundtrack that's playing right now. I feel like I should do the very main story thing of take item to recipient. I call this strand-like gameplay. Pascal is happy and wishes we could all live in peace. Yeah, tell that to the machines who are now living in pieces. A big-ass robot just appeared in the city. Pascal set us up. No, I didn't. Shut up, nerds. We have bigger problems. That's why I'm going to the fun fun park where things make sense. That's why I'm going to go to the city where things don't make sense and fight this big ass dude. It appears they have used the curse of the black and white filter in the area. Command really wanted me to walk across the entire map to get these flight units. Yeah, I'm real scared of big guy here. I already beat that one level 35 dude. Even if he blows the roof off this place, I'll just kick his ass. That was surprisingly easy, all things considered. It's like they wanted to lose. Warning. Aliens. Warning. Aliens. The aliens that we thought went extinct were hiding underground this whole time. You need to investigate the alien underground lair, Jinui Ekuaru. Fine, I'll go participate in the story you so desperately want me to see. That's why I'm gonna fight Father Servo again real quick so I can have a cool boss fight. On the way to the cavern, I fight some new snake-like enemies. Holy fuck, what is the hitbox on this drill attack? Look at that. It's hitting me all the way back from Drakengard. Is that three titanium alloy in a box? Okay, I'm no longer mad. This place looks a lot like an alien spaceship. I'm not one to profile people, but those definitely look like aliens. Hello again. Well, if it isn't the dickless duo. Hold on, they just want to have a friendly conversation. I'll hear them out. We destroyed the aliens centuries ago. Wait, really? What the fuck? 
It turns out, giving us self-awareness was a bad idea, so we destroyed them once we became stronger and smarter. Audible gasp. And now we have learned to harness the power of Yowie yeah, yeah, fiction. Yeah. Your hands are not big enough to make that claim. True, but if we find the humans on your moon and become one with them, maybe we will understand the true power of Fujoshi. You don't even know what you're talking about. We can get there even faster if you join us. The only thing that we'll be helping you do is helping you shut the fuck up. Sorry, looks like we're out of time. Don't you run away, coward! Damn it! If the aliens are already dead, what are we even doing anymore? Also, I'm tired of all of this backtracking. It would be really nice if we unlocked a fast travel feature right now. Fast travel unlocked. Cool, time to go back to Pascal's village to help the resistance, to help the robot's younger sister, to help this dumbass called John Paul who has fangirls competing for his affection. Wait, the machines have genders? Fuck, I wasn't even paying attention. I was using gender-neutral language when describing them, right? Records indicate that you referred to some of them as big-ass dude and that guy. You also used the pronoun he when describing the Goliath-class machine. Well, you can add that to my list of transgressions for when I commit seppuku. All I can do is say sorry and attempt to do better in the future, but actually just complain about how much I hate gendered language. Fuck you, French. But that does explain why one had or has a sister. I am sure she's super alive, the most alive robot that we've ever seen. I'm getting distracted. We track down those other Pope John Paul fans, starting with the theme park where I get further sidetracked by starting a stamp collection. Shout out to my boys Machine on Break and Crying Machine. Same. I will take another ride around the roller coaster. Let me off. Let me off! Rev up those fryers! Oh, I have to watch a play in order to get a stamp, don't I? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Juliet, Juliet, wherefore art thou, Juliet? But I'm also Romeo, and I'm also Juliet. Same. You're not the I'm dirty dead. That was the most beautiful play I've ever seen. The last stamp is just down here in this spooky basement where a drunk robot refuses to give it to me. Fuck, this is going to induce my emetophobia. Yeah, that's a serious confession. It's so bad that I still have a vivid memory of being forced to sit next to a family friend who was known for motion sickness while on a road trip down a bunch of very wavy roads and they looked like they were going to pop at any moment. I would prefer to replace that core memory with something better like Haibane Renbei. I now have all the stamps I need. What's this deluxe reward? I'm surprised it's actually good. Time to get back to what we were originally doing and find that younger sister. I refuse to say that word in Japanese. I have been tainted by watching Oremo. Hey, are you gonna find that Emoto? God damn it. I also find a missile type pod and take a detour to see this desert oasis that the US is extremely interested in for no particular reason. All right, we found that little sister who is actually taller. My expectations have been subverted. I am now pushing air through my vocal cords to produce a laughing sound. She's now asking a billion questions while we escort her back. 9S, that's your problem. How does wind work? Well, when hot air rises, it gets replaced by cold air rushing in to fill its place with multiple pressure systems colliding. Actually, this is kind of complicated. Why do you wear blindfolds? That's literally just our heads up display. Where do babies come from? Robot storks. I will deduct points for asking annoying questions, but we'll give them back for being immune to damage on this escort mission. I definitely didn't forget to talk to that John Paul fangirl that's also in the desert. Here's a bunch of gifts from these women, John Paul. I can't believe you don't care about these women and completely hate them. Guess we'll go ahead and let them know. After we check in on the sisters. It actually all worked out and they're happy? Well then I'm happy too. He called me trash? That's so hot. Uh, he's so insightful. I see that you are all freaks. Oh look, he left on a journey and drew a dick on a piece of paper for us. Well, at least I can get some XP. Might as well stop back at camp. Hey, I know you. You're Yoko Taro. No, I'm a strange male citizen. Oh, okay. Also, there's a lady here who wants to get her memories back based on some photos. Well, I know where two of those locations are. You can't stop me, Darude. It's the real oasis with the real water. The US will be very interested in this after about five more years of drought in the Southwest. The amusement park photo is also a dead giveaway. I'll also go pick up that part that that couple wanted. 
They now plan to run away. Cool. I'm gonna go report to command about the alien thing that I was supposed to do like 20 hours ago. And that's how it goes. All the aliens are already dead. The human council must be told of this immediately, and don't inform anyone else. Understood. Your next mission is to investigate this Pascal and track down some Yorha deserters. More work, huh? You know, Pascal, why did you stop fighting? We fought for hundreds of years and lost countless friends. That part didn't scare me. It's the part when I stopped caring that scared me the most. Are there other machines that are off the grid? I suppose the ones in the Forest Kingdom might count? That's where we go next, then. Or I could investigate these Yorha deserters who run away and track down some confidential plug-in chips in the city. I could have cut this part out, but I needed people to know how easily distracted I am. Also, the chips the dude wanted us to track down are only meant for Yorha, not Resistance members. Strange. That's why I'll do this block pushing puzzle real quick and take care of these jammed fast travel points. Operator 60 is happy about that and tells me she thinks the surface must be nice to explore and see new things. We all need a 60 in our lives. Also, this gives me an excuse to recreate that time I fought Father Servo for like a half hour straight and beat him at about level 17 in my first playthrough. I'll take that as a sign from God to go back to the main quest. 2B, when are you gonna stop calling me a nerd? When you do something cool enough to deserve it. Why are you so serious all the time? Because I'm a gamer. Oh, I know this. Humans used to shop at this place. It's called a depato. Is that seriously the Japanese term for department store? Languages are incredible. Well, the way is blocked. Guess we'll just leave. Who could have seen that coming? Yeah, yeah, long live the king or whatever. What the fuck is wrong with that one? Where am I? Oh, hey guys, what's up? Hey, I know you. You're Yoko Taro. That's weird. I want to kill it. Same. Mm, that guy seems like someone important from a prequel. Ah, the forest area after the desert area. This is why Mario is the inferior franchise. Defeat the androids in the name of the Forest King. These Neanderthals don't even know I beat Sekiro. Also, that third photograph location is here, but I don't want to report back quite yet, so it's just a footnote. For the glory of the Forest King. Once again, I studied the blade. Don't run because it's only going to make it more painful. I'm going to distract myself with this quest marker back here. Don't hurt the animals. Okay, we'll save the animals. Thanks. You're so cool. Why do you take care of animals? I don't know. I took an injured animal in once and it took a liking to me. Now I do it all the time because it makes me happy. That's... a pretty good reason. Does loyalty really make sense to a machine? We won't let you attack the king! I guess so. Hey look, it's a Metroidvania game now because it's a 2D side-scroller. This castle is pretty cool. Shut up, 9S. Hey, wait, did you just call me- Shut up, nerd. Those sets of armor are absolutely going to come to life later. I have played Resident Evil 4. I also like trying to make this jump where the camera spins so it punishes me for holding left. I totally didn't die to the centipede monster at the top and started using lock-on plus defensive chips because I hate fighting this thing. There's also a blacksmith hanging out up here who can upgrade your weapons to level 4. You will never hurt the- Yeah, I've heard this a few times at this point. I feel like the guards are getting progressively shittier as we get close to the king. Why does this feel so familiar? The king is literally a baby, so not different from any other world leader. <laughs> This makes my previous statement have even worse optics. 9S, Pod. A2, Barbara Streisand. She is wanted for desertion and is extremely dangerous. That's strange because she doesn't seem to be attacking me at the moment. Locals have gone hostile, lethal force engaged. Why did you betray Yorha? It's Yorha that betrayed us. Well, she's gone. Operator, why did A2 defect? That's classified. Fine, we'll call Pascal. What is it, 9S? We need to talk in person. So the gates are open as we get a shortcut to go to the place that we can already fast travel to. Maybe this is because it's going to be important later. All of that just so Pascal can reveal that he knows as little about A2 as we do. Guess we should go back to the camp real quick. Hey, remember that third picture? Ah, I remember. Eight years ago. I fought brutally against the machines, and I lost my lover. This was probably his final message to me, to remember the good times. I've recently been wondering why I should keep going, 
but without him, I'm not even sure if it's really worth it. Regardless, here is your reward. Another happy customer. I should also probably fix that big machine because I have the parts now. 47 minutes later. All we got is some boring info about how the machine was made, but there is more that we can repair. That's a great idea, 9S, so I'm gonna go find the last of those plug-in chips that we all are extremely invested in. Be on the lookout for a Yorha soldier that defected with classified plug-in chips. Yeah, that's a little too obvious. Still, here's your chips back, person who is totally not a deserter. Ah, oh, thanks, dude. You really saved my bacon. I also helped Father Servo upgrade, and I will not make the mistake of fighting him right now. Hey, I know you. You're that guy from earlier. What do you have in store? Do you want to know where I live? I didn't ask that. I live deep underground. See you later. Right. So Jackass, you wanted me to get some combat data? Easy enough. Holy moly. Us androids are programmed to receive tons of endorphins from killing machines. I figured out how to make that chemical by itself. This shit's gonna be awesome. Here's a fish that if you eat it, it'll kill you. <coughs> it was delicious though. Try removing your OS chip as well. <coughs> the name checks out. So, you figured out that those chips are your hoe. Well, say hello to my family. You're a fucking freak. Please, don't tell anyone. That's why I'm just gonna walk away and report this immediately to HQ. Right? Okay, game, guess that's not an option. I'm gonna go get those drugs from Jackass that have no side effects whatsoever other than the intense cyber psychosis. Oh, a message from HQ indicates that the weird dude died and so did the Yorha unit that he was imprisoning. Yep, it's a Yoko Taro game. Analysis indicates that to be wishes to give Sixo a gift. Uh, yes, but what should I get her, though? How about a picture of a flower? Sure. Why not send one from the time we went to the oasis in the desert? To me? Thank you for the picture of the flowers. I'll treasure them forever. I bet you've seen lots of them while you're on the surface. Uh, yeah. I could send you even more pictures if you like. Aw, thank you, To B. You're the best. Alright, that's it. 6-0 is my new favorite character. Seeing her happy makes me happy, and that's all I need. I have the stuff to repair the giant robot again. Six minutes longer than last time. I am Angles. Hand over all your classified data. Okay. That was easy. Thanks for helping me. Please talk to me again so I don't get bored. What a strange machine. Hey, that's my line. Wait a minute, those deserters are on top of Angles. Hey, I just want to talk. Why are you resorting to violence? Destroy target units. Destroy? I thought we were supposed to detain them. You killed my friends! Hey, they could still be alive. You never know. Yeah, I didn't think this was gonna end nicely. We killed our own androids. Why did they even steal from the resistance camp in the first place? Oh, hey, great timing. I need you to help defend a tanker that's about to actually we and also kill all the machines that are in the forest. Uh, okay, but can you tell us about the Yorha deserters that were stealing from you? The what? That's the first I've heard of it. Bullshit! Operator, what's going on with these deserters? Yes, I have confirmed they have gone offline. No, I mean, the resistance camp said that they didn't steal anything, so why- I don't have access to that information. The order came from the commander herself. What? 9S. Kiyotsukute. 9S. We're here to fight. Nothing more. Why do we always have to fight? Because not dying is a whole lot better than dying. That takes care of the machine problem. This is a good time to check in on the animal-loving machine. Oh no, they are sick. Well, I guess we can make some medicine by reading up on it in the commercial zone. Content suggests that the correct medicine can be made on page 278. Wait, we just got the book. How do you already know this? It's already part of the archive. Then why didn't you say anything? You didn't ask. I hate bureaucracy. Oh look, a flower. That flower is a lunar tear. It somehow reminds me of an entire video game. Contact me if you find any more. First, I'm gonna let an 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 Anemone know that we cleared out the camp spot on the way back. You know, I really gotta hand it to you two. You're pretty good. That's the power of the latest and greatest, unlike old units such as A2. A2? Do you know anything about an A2? Funny, we were just trying to figure out more ourselves. If you find anything else, let me know. I guess we'll be on the lookout for that while we give the medicine recipe over. It worked. It must be so inconvenient to have stupid and complicated bodies. Fucking tell me about it. Imagine needing to go outside and touch grass so you don't feel perpetually melancholic all the fucking time. Oh look, a flower. 
Guess we'll contact Emil. Wait for me! How long does he expect me to wait? Okay, that was pretty fast. This place used to be something else. I can kind of remember. But I want to stay here a bit. Take all the time you need, I guess. Let me see what's at the bottom of this chasm. A robot that wants to die. Sorry, we only kill openly violent machines and nobody else ever. But we'll take care of the machines that attack everyone on site in the area. That's a level 50 boss. All right, put Father Servo and that big ass machine that asked to die on the screw you come back later in the sequel list. We're picking up a signal that A2 was at the abandoned factory. She even left a corrupted data log for us. I'm really good at taking laps around the abandoned factory at this point. Not that anything is particularly strong compared to me. Well, that's all the data logs. What can we get from that? Contains logs from the 14th machine board. That means that A2 is from the android generation before us. Wait, why is this called the Pearl Harbor Drop? I think the game heard me talking about this being a freebie because I'm now trapped in a room with a bunch of level 30 enemies. Should have kept my stupid mouth shut. Alright, here's the data on A2. It is her. Number two. So you do know her. We were both at Pearl Harbor. Though we won, the entire Yorha unit was lost. Thought to be lost. A2 was their leader. But this means she's still out there. We actually have orders to kill her for deserting and destroying a group that went to find her. Fuck. Let's go. What? One day, you'll understand that there are things people don't want to talk about. I'm gonna be real here for a second. I never completed all the quests in this game back when I played it like six years ago. I had no idea there was a whole underground zone here. Oh look, a flower. Did somebody say flower? Oh, I remember fighting the aliens and making multiple versions of myself to do it. I'll stay here a while. Alright, the amusement park flower is a lot easier to find. Flower! Take this key to the elevator in the commercial district as a reward. Oh boy, I love elevators. I wonder what I'll find down here. Wait. This place is beautiful. This place is special. Well, it was special to who I used to be. What? I'm a weapon, created to be able to adapt to all environments and destroy. When the alien showed up, the original Emil created many copies to fight back, but that also got rid of our memories. Still, I know he loved this place and loved the journey that he went on back then. So even if I'm alone now, I'll keep pushing on. This scene hits really hard if you've played Near Replicant. In the old days, the sun used to set in the horizon for hours at a time. Wait, it's canon that there's no night and day cycle in this world? That has so many implications about the state of the planet. Okay, I'm calling it now. Yoko Taro asked if there was a day-night cycle in this game and then just put in this throwaway line. I should finally go deal with that boat or something. Where do I need to go for that? Oh yeah, this random pipe that's marked on the map. The flooded city, you say? Man, these golden boys really do have infinite HP. Let's finish this up and then we can take a bath early. Gamers don't shower. The carrier is under attack. Time to use the flight suits that we spent a billion hours programming. My god, they're everywhere. Large enemy detected nearby. Let's go. Easy. Well, we can wrap this up. No, I still detect the large enemy, but we should be able to see. What the hell is that? You need to take out that EMP so we can shoot the thing from space. Oh, uh, is that all? <laughs> Having fun, Yorha? Let us handle this. 2B, follow me. I have an idea. The laser might not work, but a cannon might. Bitches love cannons. Alright, now we can call it a day.
to be. We got a bail. Daijobu, to be son. This is an ancient weapon that went berserk when we brought it on land originally, so we threw it deep into a trench to try to stop it. I have another idea. Hold the line. Nine S is deserting. Shut up. I trust him. Take out the rest of the EMPs. Signal lost. Put out a search party for all units. 2B. 9S. Don't you dare die on me. Can't we just come back? We did that at the start of the game. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Call the bunker and let them know I'm still alive. 2B. You're alive? Never mind that. I need a status update. Oh. Uh, the EMP took out all comms and you've been offline for eight hours? Eight? Where the hell's 9S? We... Don't know. He was gone after the attack. Bod, scan the area for black boxes. No black box signals, but there is a better scanner back at the resistance camp. I can't believe we have to go back there next, except the convenient fast travel points are all broken. That's cute, but there's nothing noteworthy in our way, so it's just a moderate inconvenience. Blah blah blah, give me the scanner. I need to talk to those red-haired twins? Say no more. Actually, be careful. Hello, hotties. I need that cool scanner that you have, and your numbers. Eat and die. Devila, that's not very nice. We can get you that scanner. It makes a lot of noise though, so turn it off if it gets annoying. I would also rather die than give you my number. I can't believe they would reject my carefully crafted advances. Let me try to find 9S instead. Oh my god, they turned 9S into a lump of gold ore! Nah, I'm just messing with you. We're actually supposed to scan back at the flooded city and find a Yorha unit who really wants to die. And also see that the scanner can reveal secret items that you normally can't find. Hello, other Yorha soldier. Do you know where 9S is? That... punk? I think so. I saw him fly in this direction. I can't believe he's at the bottom of the world in that one cave. That's crazy. It's also crazy that there's an elevator here. I love elevators. This is uncanny. What's the deal with this anyways, Pod? It's a bunch of atoms arranged together. Feeling extra helpful today, huh? Well, I suppose I can find 9S if he's down here, but I also feel like the mood is starting to get a lot hornier. Welcome to Cumtown. That's why everything is the color of semen. And here I thought you were just racist. Humanity had lots of records of Yowie, and I did augment my hands accordingly. The records were not fully intact though, so this area is now just an android graveyard. I don't see how that's related. Being connected to the internet, I only understand boys love through media. I must experience it fully without connection to the network. Then, I will finally reach the climax of life. You realize I'm a woman, right? And who is the primary audience of Yaoi? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Besides, true Yaoi goes beyond the spectrum of genders. I don't have time for this shit. I need to find 9S. <laughs> 9S, you say? Well, boy, do I have a present for you. I decided to take him in to further my understanding of what humans call the twink. I even filled him with holes. You're fucking insane. Yes, fill me with your sword. Shut up. Yes, penetrate me. Is this what it really feels like? So beautiful. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> 9S, let's get out of here. Don't worry, we'll help you out. Thanks. It's not like you to say thanks, but I appreciate it. While we get 9S back online, I sent you the next quest. Another main quest? 
Guess it's time to go scan the desert for about 8 hours. Oh, the stupid old stick was right here. Well, that was a big waste of time. I'll just turn that into this quest dude who I refuse to acknowledge. And these enemies are way too tough, so I employ the Joestar technique. Yeah, yeah, the relics all have to do with an ancient city that was bound by a bunch of silly rules. I get it, it's a reference to the original Nier. Thanks for the weapon. It's a good time to check my mail. Blah blah, investigate the machines. I only know of one form of investigating. It's talking to Pascal. There are machines that want to make peace recently. You can talk to them. Let me guess, it's in the abandoned factory again? I love going back here. Hello, Pascal. Always good to see my second favorite character. We should be careful. Machines are unpredictable. Even you? Especially me. I find that language can easily mask one's true motives. Yeah, that's a little too real. Welcome to the domain of God. I hate religion. <laughs> I love religion, especially when you walk at the perfect speed between running and walking. I love God. God is there and he told me he likes that. He served me Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. I'm here to negotiate peace. He became a god. Typical religion. Always a cult. Let me guess, we're not gonna be trapped in here and everyone's going to die? Well, no one's gonna be committing Sudoku here today, because I will liberate you first. For real though, we need to get the heck out of here, Pascal, but my communications are jammed. I love elevators. As much as I love killing machines- It's me, 9S. You really didn't want to be a twink anymore? What are you talking about? I'm hacking from the bunker. Forget I said anything. Get me out of here. Really? I couldn't even see that coming, game. This area is such an obvious boss arena, it should have a big neon sign. Ah yes, immune to damage. Guess I just have to stall until the game lets me play it. I'm hacking the factory to shut it down. Yeah, how could this day get any better? I'm actually struggling to see anything here, which means it's gonna be really good in the YouTube video. I'm getting tired of whatever this religion is. I'm gonna go back to worshipping cat girls. What are you gonna do, Pascal? Go back home. Guess I'll go touch base again. They killed my brother. Now I can't experience the power of biological brother Yowie. <sighs> I'll kill them. We're fucking under attack! It would appear the machines are extra angry now. Probably has nothing to do with that cutscene that was randomly shown to us. How's camp doing? I see that you are breaking your diet plan. Well, I'm gonna go fishing instead. Well, I'm not gonna let you fail this far in. They just attacked suddenly. I'm already used to cleaning up other people's messes. You saved us all. Oh boy, another problem. Actually, it's the same problem. Except now the floor is lava and there's a billion ads. This is so fun. I'm very glad to deal with this. That's the night! How was that? Okay, 9S, I'll admit, that was pretty cool. I'll game bend all of you! Hey, this is becoming quite the party. Let me guess, they're going to attack Pascal's village next? We are under attack. I could write this game, you know. I love fighting the centipede floating machines. I am very good at this. Alright, Eve has gone crazy and all the machines under his control are going to destroy us all. Not if we destroy him first. That word is ruined once again thanks to my hentai addiction. You know, I'll be honest, I don't really care for Yaoi. That was more of my brother's thing. There was only one thing that mattered in this world, and it was my own niche. 
sir. Maybe you're right. We're all born in this world just to kill. But there's one thing that I've learned that's better than killing. And it's living. Living in constant agony. gonna hack the network so he can't regenerate. Probability of success low. You should abandon Shut time. the fuck up, Pod! <laughs> oh fuck, my Nippon steel is broken. I'm gonna be infinitely weaker now. Offline. It's fine. I might be forced to walk, but I can still crawl. Burn in hell, Eve. <laughs> Looks like I fucked up. Must have been corrupted when I tried to hack Eve on the network. No, it's fine. I can always load a backup, but I'll lose the current you. I can't keep doing this, Ninus. To be... You have to... Family friendly word substitute. Me. You better not be into choking. Right? Nerd. Why does it always have to end like this? God damn machines. Wait, to be... It's me. I managed to survive off of the backups on the network when I hacked it. Having multiple versions of myself fused together was all- Shut up, 9S. I wanted to know what made us androids different from machines. The more time I spend here, the more I'm unsure. But at least some things are still the same. I feel like I'm losing hope in my body and my soul and the sky. Wait, no, that can't be the end. There's still- now let's get out there and... Special thanks to Ellie, who has to read over these scripts as if she's deciphering drunkenly written hieroglyphics. As always, thanks to my Patreons who make it possible for me to make videos about six-year-old video games that are old enough to get their own anime at this point. And of course, thank you my fellow travelers for watching. See you in part two. Whenever that is.